Alright, before we get started on this um, video, I'm going to introduce you to uh, a new initiative that I've come up with. It was inspired by an idea from Ritika's Kitchen. I watched a recent video of hers and they're doing something similar, only in a different vein. So I thought I played around with the idea a bit and came up with this. And I'll just read it out because it's still new in my mind. All right, you. Um, you prepare a nice recipe and pass it on to one or more of your YouTuber friends to copy. You need to obtain prior agreement from those people before you do, of course, before you uh, collaborate with them. The next collaborator prepares your recipe off camera and then tastes it on camera and makes a video in which they prepare something different before passing the plate on to the next collaborator or collaborators. Rinse and repeat. It should be a good collab because it could drive new traffic to all the involved channels. And the sort of ideas are a burger, a sandwich, a salad, a snack or a soup. Showcase your talent, choose a recipe that demonstrates your own flair and then pass it forward. Um, try to keep the videos under 10 minutes in length. Use these hashtags in your title, hashtag pass the plate and hashtag pass the plate relay and uh, there'll be some instructions in the description below. You can um, cut and paste them into the description of your own videos. And creators who aren't directly nominated, feel free to start to, start to seed your own relay. Just, just go off, do it and get creative. Make the world a better place. Good food is meant for sharing. All right, Russian salad, otherwise known as Olivier salad. What it is, is basically it's a mix of vegetables and sometimes meats and eggs which are mixed in with mayonnaise and sometimes sour cream and other flavourings to make a delicious salad. It was named after the chef that invented it, someone called Olivier, somewhere in Russia, in Moscow I believe, in the 1860s. There'll be details about it plus uh, a list of ingredients in the description below this video so let's get on with it and i'll show you what take you through the ingredients i've got for mine i've got some potatoes which i've cut up it's about um about a standard mug full of diced potato which is uh cooked d cooked and diced i've got some uh, these were pre-frozen vegetable mix which i cooked up not for too long because i didn't want it to get too too overcooked you know because um, I want to leave a little bit of um, texture in it and to that end I've got some celery I've got some dig dill pickles or sweet and sour gherkins I've also got some chopped up luncheon meat you can use chopped up cold sausage you can use ham you can use anything you like for that element some uh, roast beef if you've got it just chop it up all around about the same time I've got my celery got to, I've got an apple but I don't want to chop that up just yet I'll chop that up just as it goes in because I don't want that to go brown and for my dressing uh, the the bulk of the dressing is made with mayonnaise I've got some sour cream which I'm going to add to it because that's kind of a very Russian thing to use uh, sour cream and uh, I'm just going to use a, a little bit of that to flavor it and because I'm a pepper mouth, I'm going to add a little bit of sriracha sauce. And uh, one ingredient that usually goes in is mustard. And a, a herb that goes rather nicely with it is dill, but you can use parsley. Or any, any herb you particularly like, any mild herb that you particularly like. You'll need some salt, you'll need some pepper. And I've got a hard-boiled egg, but I'm not putting my hard-boiled egg into the Russian salad this time. I'm going to just use the hard-boiled egg as a garnish. Okay, so into our bowl, I want to get some mayonnaise and I'm going to put in a couple of good blobs of that because there's quite a lot of mix going in. So all together, about a cup, about that much. Also into that, I want 
a good tablespoon of smetana or sour cream which I'm going to drop in there that should be just about right actually I'm going to put in a pinch of dill dill's really great it's a predominant flavoring in uh, Eastern European uh, foods and, and in particular in pickles into that I'm going to put in a pinch of salt and it's going to be about half a teaspoon I'm going to taste it in a minute but about half a teaspoon of salt goes in first a bit of black pepper and because it's me a bit more black pepper I'm going to want a good teaspoon of mustard use whatever mustard you like for this I like English because it's nice and sharp last but not least a little drizzle couple of teaspoons of sriracha sauce the next thing I'm going to do because it needs doing is I'm going to chop up some apple apple gives a nice tart flavor and some delicious crunch to this so I'm going to take off those bits and those bits I'll munch on that core later and then I'll just chop this into little bits and I do this right at the point where I'm going to actually add it to the add it to the bowl and that just goes straight in now once you've got everything chopped up this is a really really easy dish to put together because you're really just assembling it right and once the apple's gone in just to stop it browning get it mixed in with the other ingredients and it'll stop it browning the browning's it's not desirable in this so that's all mixed in nicely as you see and then in goes all my other stuff now the meat element is optional but you can put that in the celery adds nice crunch the sweet and sour tang of some sweet pickles give it a bit of body some potato the vegetable element has to be done that goes in and that's about it boys and girls so what we do now is we mix all this together to make ourselves a nice Russian salad now I'm gonna have a quick taste of this just to let me know where I am seasoning it's going to need a little bit more salt just taste it as you go so you know where you are and you know what your family likes so you you taste add the taste just how your family likes it and then what I'm going to do with that now I'm going to get myself a bowl which I've oiled I've just put in some um, cold pressed it's a bland vegetable oil canola oil and it's a good quality one I'll put that in there and then I'm gonna pack my Russian salad straight into it and I'm pressing that down now into my bowl it's trying to slide around a bit but and then I want to get that top nice and flat and then this whole thing needs to, once you've got the top nice and flat this whole thing needs to go into your fridge for about half an hour to let it firm up a little bit so I'm going to cover that with some cling wrap and then get back to in about half an hour's time just making a little cucumber garnish for the plate I like to do it this way just run a fork times down the cucumber a few times and then just start slicing it because it makes kind of pretty little cucumber slices and it just helps it's just a nice little simple decoration and I go back to the last bit and the bit just beyond that is mine yum that's the two hard-boiled eggs I've just sliced those up and so we have the chilled Russian salad I'm just going to take the top off that and then I'm going to put the plate on top center it and invert it and then just leave that for a second or two let that drop 
uh, it's not gone very well but never mind um, and then you can dress the outside of it with some cucumber and some egg some nice slices of egg so I'll just put those around as well put a couple of pieces on top garnish it with some parsley and voila it's gonna get a spoon and teasing that awkward bit there and then pretty up a little bit right there's just one last thing I'd like to put on that and this is a bit of my um, celery salt this is homemade actually I've, it's in an original celery salt bottle but it's my homemade one and there'll be a a recipe for homemade celery salt but celery salt goes wonderful with eggs and it's a nice garnish for just about everything so there you go Russian salad I'm nursing a jar of my favorite um, Indian pickle which is uh, from Ritika's kitchen so she has in effect passed the plate already to me by giving me this wonderful recipe that I, I just repeat time and time again. Uh, as soon as I've run out of this one, I'll make another lot because I absolutely adore it. And it's um, Ritika's red chili, red chili, chili Indian pickle or achar. And it's really, really gorgeous. So um, it's rather fitting that I'm now passing this relay on to Ritika. And also I'm going to pass the relay on to my lovely friend Emma um, and I'll put all the details of their channels uh, above here this side and um, also in the description below so enjoy the enjoy the relay enjoy the challenge I don't have a lot left but there you go ladies <laughs> Hey friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications for all my future videos. It would be great to hear from you in the comments and I'll try to get back to as many of you as possible. You may wish to check out these titles or even help me out with a donation using the links in the description below the video. Thanks for watching.